Hi guys, welcome to Sim Captain. It's Tuesday night, March 10th, and it's Train It Up Tuesday, which is featuring Eagle County Airport in Colorado and Cheyenne Airport. So I tried to fly westbound, but I only made it as far as uh, Moline, Illinois. So we're going to fly from Moline to um, Eagle. It's about a three-hour flight, so we'll be arriving around the tail end of this two-hour event. Unfortunately, there's no air traffic control on here in this area, so I am just going to get the uh, airplane started, and we are going to go. Oops, wrong switch. I need... There we go. Oh, there we go. Power. Checklists. All important checklists. The master switch is on. Avionics master is on. Altlander master is on. Nav lights are on. Panel lights as required. APU unavailable. Uh, fuel quantity is checked. Actually, we're going to have to take on more fuel. We got so we got the fuel truck en route. It's a little loud out here. So we'll just go back inside while we wait for the fuel truck. Um, fuel quantity, like I said, we're taking on more circuit breakers check doors. Well, we're going to have to wait for fuel. I don't know where the fuel truck comes from. Um... I don't see any movement. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to just fill up the airplane? Alright, we'll just do that this way. Fuel and payload, change fuel. We're going to fill her up for this three hour flight. All right, that'll give us uh, 4,921 pounds. Inside. All right, doors. Closing the doors. Doors are closed, lights are out. Circuit breakers check, doors closed, lock, passenger briefing. Parking brake is on. Rotating beacon is on. Fuel pump is on. Throttles are idle. We're clear left and right. Clear left and right. What is happening here? Bleed air, select number two. Number two starter is engaged. And number two is turning. N2's on the rise, ITT's on the rise, fuel valve is open, good ignition, lead air back to normal, starter switch select the ground, engine stabilizing, lead air over to number one, number one starter engaged, number one's turning, number two is stable, temps and pressures look good, everything's in the green, number one N2's on the rise, ITT's on the rise. Good ignition. Bleed air is back to normal. Starter switch is selected to ground. Engine stabilizing. Temps and pressures look good. Go back inside the airplane again. Uh, ATIS is unavailable. Clearance delivery unavailable. We'll start the clock since the engines are running. Transponder is mode Charlie. We're squawking 2200 until we have an assignment. Um, autopod is off, checked and set. We are going to climb to 340, so we'll just go direct to that. And 250 knots below 10. Flight directors on, altimeters, local setting, gear selectors down, lights are tested. 
de-ice and pitot heat are on. Flaps are set for takeoff. Trim is set for takeoff. And vertical speed reads zero. Airspeed indicator reads zero. Taxi clearance. Taxi light. Brakes are released. Got to be able to reach the pedals. Oh, there's the fuel truck. He did show up. All right. All right, there's the left brake. There's the right brake. Brakes are tested. Heading indicator turns properly on both sides. We'll do a spoiler deployment. Spoiler is deployed. Light illuminates. Spoiler we'll retract. They're down. Light extinguishes. Um, Let's see, which one, one way do we want to depart? The wind is 152 at 9. Oh, no, it's the fuel thing popped up. I guess I'm still close enough to the spot. There's the fuel truck. Anyway, I didn't have the patience for that. I already wasted too much time waiting for that. Flight controls are free and correct. And we have to do a reverser test, but I'll do that when I get taxiing. We are at Moline, which is K-M-I-L, I think, or oh no, L-I, K-M-L-I, Quad City. And I said the wind is uh, 152 at 9. There goes the fuel truck. Um, I think we'll try and depart runway 13. Should be long enough. Runway 13 is 7,300 feet. Plenty long. So, at departure briefing, we're going to depart runway 13. We're going to uh, Expect a normal departure, standard call-outs. Any failure before VR, we abort and stay here. Any failure after VR, with the exception of fire and the loss of directional control, we'll take the problem to the air and uh, return here to Moline or if the nature of the emergency, depending on the nature of the emergency, we could also end up uh, flying to Chicago from here. I don't know what else is close to this area. Uh, Davenport would be the next closest, actually. I'm not familiar with that airport, though. I don't know how big it is. Um, we'll climb to flight level 340, and we'll be going direct to uh, Iowa City VOR. Am I taxing the right direction? Sort of. I should have gone the other way, but this will work. go up here, take a left, cross the runway, take another left to go all the way down to the end. And I'm going to turn the fuel pump off because I can't stand listening to it. So this should be a golf intersection up here, assuming they haven't changed. It says November. Yeah, November's there. I guess they changed the name of just this one, is golf, until you cross the runway on the other side is November. Anyway, I wish there was a way to update all those little nuances as airports have changed over the years. And Flight Sim is now, uh, when did this come out? 2006? So this is 16, you know, 13 years. Yep, there's November. We'll cross here, we'll look left, we'll look right, looks clear. Oh man, we're going to do some crazy zigzagging. And according to this, that's all closed. So, I'll abide by this and just continue on November to Alpha. Turn left on Alpha and follow Charlie all the way down. Kind of a crazy taxi out. And since this flight is three hours long, I'm going to... Um, 
get up the cruise and then kill the video until we get into controlled airspace. Oh, and they've ex just runway's extended. What's happening? Oh, I'm crossing that one. Okay. Left turn. And this says this is November. Yeah. This airport's definitely had some changes happen to it. And we needed to do a reverser test. So two are unlocked, two are in reverse, two are stowed. Let's see, nav radios, um, I need the Iowa City VOR. Iowa City is 116.2. Six point two. Clearly too far to pick up. Com radios are set. Peter Heat is on. D ice is on. Yaw damp is off. Starter switches are set to continuous. Fuel pump will turn that back on. You know it's annoying. Flaps are set. Trim is set. And we'll load the time and fuel. Lineup checks. Tower clearance uh, is unavailable. Threshold, we'll check for landing aircraft, taxi lights off, landing and strobe lights, and then we will be off. I like flying the Citation, uh, too. This has been an enjoyable airplane to fly. It's a little slow, but I've really liked it. I've never been in one in the real in real world. I was going to say real life, but this is real life too. I'm just saying in the real world, I've never been on a citation. But all the way down to the end here. I know um, it's going to be tough flying into the mountains at night. I'm a little concerned about that. And I haven't even checked the weather in Eagle, so I don't know what to expect when we get there. I'll get the weather en route. Uh, if not, maybe we'll just divert to Cheyenne. I don't know. Maybe that's where I should have flown in the first place. But Ideally, I would have liked to have gotten into Cheyenne yesterday and then flown from Cheyenne to Eagle. I'm very particular about flying the airplane from the last airport it was at. Taxi lights are flaming lights and strobe lights. Pumps are on. Whoops. I turned them off. Pumps are on. Star switches are engaged. Pumps, trim, time, fuel. Quad City traffic. Uh, you got a citation. We're departing runway 15, Quad City. is an engine limitation. All right, takeoff power is set. Airspeed's alive. Eighty knots. We'll cross check. Continue. V 
one. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up selected. Gears in transit. Alright, gears up, lights out. The auto amp is engaged. 400 above, flaps coming out. Flaps are up and indicated. Looks like uh, the Iowa City VOR is directly behind me. So I'll make a right turn. I have no rhyme or reason for this at all. There's just nobody out here to direct me, so that's what I'm going to do. There are no procedures out of this airport. So I'm just climbing out of blue line and turning direct to Iowa City. And now that I see this, I probably should have made a left turn. Would have put me a little bit more on course. Climbing through 4,000. A little turbulence as we enter the clouds here. Kill the fuel pump. We'll do the after takeoff checks. Gears up. Lights are out. Flaps are retracted and indicated. Yawn damp is on. Or pilot will engage. Alright, all pilots checked and set. Altimeter is local setting. Above five, the pumps are off. Starter switches go to flight. And we are on our way to Eagle. Eagle County Airport. Um, I don't know if this airport's open at night, you know? I, I wonder because it's in the mountains. I think Aspen closes at a certain time because you can't fly in the dark. Let's see. Pull up uh, Eagle and see what I can find out about that airport. Another airport I've never been to in the uh, real world. Where does it give the hours? Oh, yeah, no, it does. Um, operates, uh, hold on, wait a minute. I think it said on here somewhere the hours. Here, regular office hours. Uh, and what airport hours? Maybe. It, oh, I do this every time. Every time. This is cabin pressurization. There we go. I, I, I always forget because in the other airplane it's automatic and I don't have to take any action, so I get lazy on it. I'm going to have to put pressurization in the checklist, which it should be anyway, because that should just be on my habit, uh, habitual habit list. We're climbing at 340, so I'll set it for 36,000. Um, you have a tendency to always want to set it higher, and this is a real world practice, set it higher than what you're actually flying. So, some do it 1,000 feet above, I'm going to just do it. 2,000 feet above, so there's our 36. Alright, that's fixed.
All right, Web 10 landing lights are off, and I'll turn the logo lights off. Cruise checklist will be next. Kill me that I can't find the hours of operation. I guess this operates at night too because it has a there's an RNAV and an LDA I don't know, maybe it doesn't, I don't know I have no idea I thought it said somewhere but but I'm not seeing it Not a lot's happening between now and getting closer to where there's ATC. So we'll come back in just a moment as we uh, arrive in Eagle. All right, guys, we're uh, entering Denver's airspace. And they're, they are obviously online. So let's tune in to Denver. See, uh, we'll check in. Ten fifty four thirty two to send and maintain one four fourteen thousand cross Kremlin at one four fourteen thousand cleared to LDA runway two five approach. All right, to send a one four fourteen thousand cross Kremlin at fourteen thousand. We're cleared for the LDA for runway two five. United fifty four thirty two. Uh, good evening, Denver, Exec Jet 482, we're checking in flight level 340 from the east. Exec Jet 482, Denver Center, squawk 1442. 1442 for Exec Jet 482. 1442, check. We'll give them a flash. Write that down. One four four two. November five three five, Papa Charlie, Denver Center, climb, maintain flight level two two zero, proceed direct to Kremlin. November 3, 4, Quebec, cross Kremlin at 1414,000, clear to LDA, runway 25 approach. Okay, cross Kremlin at 1414,000, clear for the LDA, 25 approach. Exec Jet 482, thank you. Position checks. Pacific 3626, leaving my airspace to the West Salt Lakes offline. Radar service terminate for this change approved today. So there might be a familiar voice on the frequency tonight. Um, my no, friend. 816 to 718, 14,000, cross Kremlin at or above 14,000, cleared LDA, runway 25 approach. Set 14,000 across Kremlin at maintain 14,000 clear to LDA runway 25 approach to carry. My friend Adrian, who has uh, been in videos with me uh, flying 
here in the sim pit um, doing the multi-crew videos. He is Exec Jet 101, which is uh, flying just ahead of me inbound to Denver for the, uh, not Denver, into Eagle for this Train It Up Tuesday event. So we should hear him on, uh, on frequency soon. But I actually have to make a very important phone call. Um, so I'm going to pause for a moment and come right back. All right. Um, we but expect to be LDA on Wednesday five approach at the Eagle at two Kremlin. I will expect the uh, LDA runway two five. And what was the other instruction for Exec Jet forty two? An Exec Jet forty two will be at Kremlin. Uh, at Kremlin, uh, copy Exec Jet forty two. All right, Kremlin. So we're going to do the LDA. though. timing was actually perfect to come back. We are currently. 179 miles. Kremlin. Uh, what is the approach in use at Eagle tonight? RC3 Echo Fox, the LDA runway 25 approaches currently. Alright, LDA runway 25, 10975. That's tuned in. The approach course is 250. is the VOR, which is 143 nautical miles. The frequency is 113.8. I'm going to put that in the number 2. 142.5. So we're going to expect the LDA runway 25 from a crumbling. LDA runway 25. Fair 909, take a bravo. You're coming in extremely quiet. Can you speak up? Wow, the Fair numbers. 909, take a bravo. Denver Center, stand by. The numbers are crazy. Standing by. The numbers are crazy. Um, crossing altitude is going to be 12,900 feet. Minimums are 1,800 feet above the ground. Missed approach is a climb direct to the Sierra X-ray Whiskey VOR. Do I know that VOR? November 9er, 09er, Tango Bravo cleared to Eagle County Airport via direct Kremlin in Squawk 1470. It's the VOR. Um, all right, so Mr. Approach, climb direct, snow VOR, DME, cross snow VOR, DME, then climbing right turn to 14,600. Right, direct Kremlin, TDM 9er, 09er, Tango Bravo, and a uh, chance to get followed to 9er. On the snow DME radio 001 to Jesse. 
Snow 24.2 Damien. Niner Tango and Bravo halt. radar contact uh, one zero miles southwest Cheyenne. Climb maintain flight level two nine or zero. Missed approach requires a minimum okay. climb of 275 nine, feet nine, per nine, minute nine, or per nautical mile to 11,700 feet. Course is in, frequency is in. Snow is uh, just beyond the airport. I'm going to put that in the number two. It's 109.2. Fuel quantity, we're down to 1,737 pounds. Engines are all in the green, everything is normal. Fuel pump is off, altimeter is 2992, Kevin alerts, and uh, the en route weather. So we uh, let's see what we got to pick up weather in Eagle. I still haven't done that. Oh. Let's see, the, do they have an ATIS? 135 13.57. 13.57. One three five five seven. Uh, there's no way to sub, huh? Let me double check now, and then I can confirm this. Uh, Eagle, ATC. There is no ATIS up. Okay, so we have no ATIS. I'll get the latest METAR. Any loss to one one look for a that's Adrian. He's flying ahead of us. Exec jet one zero one to send up pilot's discretion. Maintain flight level two four zero. Pilot's discretion down to two four zero. Exec jet one zero one. A dog. Okay, so no aid is available. The METAR reports. What time was this? This was 40 something minutes ago. 250 at 6 knots, 10 statute of miles, clear. Temperature 7, dew point minus 1, altimeter 3025. So clear. Clear and wind is calm at that time. Pull up the bat scope, I want to see where he's at. Liner, liner, one Romeo at uh, and uh, 30 miles from FT. November, niner, niner, one Romeo, Denver Center, climb, maintain flight level 250. Climb, maintain 250. So Kremlin right there at 14,000. We're, we're going to get that same instruction. Then we fly the 148 radial to intercept the uh, LDA into runway 25. Is 
Contact at 101. I apologize about that. Uh, all right. Kremlin 1414,000 cleared LDA 25 approach for uh, exit check 101. Much further do we got? We got 130 miles, 99 to Kremlin. We're passing Denver. This is Denver uh, over here to the left. got major headwinds. I'm going so slow over the ground. We got uh, 99 knots almost directly in our face. but he reminds me of Eeyore. <laughs> Very like, mono, like depressed. I don't know if anyone ever saw the uh, Christopher Robin movie. It's pretty good. My wife loves Eeyore. <laughs> this guy remind, the sound reminded me of him. Denver Center, uh, exact chat 101. I'd be advised there's a light to moderate shop uh, somewhere between flight level 370 and all the way down to flight level 270. Exact chat 101, thanks. So that was uh, Adrian giving a pie rep. Definitely more towards a moderate shop. A moderate shop on his descent into Eagle. He's directly ahead of me, so that's going to impact me. So I guess we're going to expect a little turbulence on our way in on our descent. Oh, Denver is right there. I don't see it though. I don't see the airport. Kind of like under us a little bit. It's like right under us. Yeah, I can't see the airport. We'd have to go outside. There's DIA. Whoops. That's really hard to see. Because from up here I don't really see the lights. The white flickering is the uh, rabbit, the approach lights. Alright, so we are direct Kremlin right now. 79 and a half miles, just about. It's going to take us about another 15 minutes.
All right, um, minimum safe altitude in a 25 nautical mile radius around the snow VOR, which is just past the airport, is uh, 15,300 feet. He's having people cross Regal at 14. So there's some deep, there's some terrain here. 732 advisory copy. As 11,573. Now over here, 11,484. Air Channel 5732, cleared to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport is filed. Climb maintain 15,000. Expect flight level 3701. Service after departure. Departure frequency with me, squawk 1451. So we'll be flying around 3,000 feet above the terrain. Check the VAT uh, scope again. Your jet, so you're probably going to get squeezed in between the middle of us. I bet Expect this. Expect at 482 to send and maintain 14,000 at Kremlin. Cleared LDA runway 25 approach. Alright, descent maintain 14,000 from Kremlin. We're cleared for the LDA runway 25, exec jet 482. Same captain. You know. That's uh, Adrian giving me a shout out. November 2 3, Echo Fox, drop proceed direct Kremlin. That's Romeo Lima, golf at Kremlin, cleared LVA runway 25 approach. Alright, 14 set, we're on our way down. Direct Kremlin, 14 3, Echo Fox, drop. He just texted me. <laughs> Tell him I'm recording. And a uh, little concerning that I just heard the controller clear Adrian for the approach, the LDA-25. I know I'm plenty far enough behind him. I'm clear for the LDA, and that other aircraft just got clear. So everyone's getting clear for the approach at the same time. It's a little concerning. I'm going to keep my speed. Keep my speed up. November 2 3, Echo Fox, just indicated. 313. This Echo Fox, where is he? I want to know where he is. Air two three Echo Fox Shot reduce speed to two five zero. Two fifty two three Echo Fox Shot. Right, he's ahead of us. Juliet Sierra is probably this aircraft right here, three nine zero Juliet Sierra, which is a Premier One. That's that's this dot right here. Adrian's far enough ahead of me that I can't see him, and he wasn't wrong about the turbulence. We're getting hit with it on the way in.
All right, Regal, uh, we need Regal at 14. So we're going to descend a little faster. Power 279, Denver Center, stand by. Power 279, item. checklist um, really it's supposed to start when you get below 18 power 279 radar contact but uh, we'll worry about the altimeter on the way in ADIS is unavailable camera loads are on exec jet 482 turn right heading 360 vectors final approach course all right right turn 360 exec jet 482 all right, so we're getting pulled off. Probably so you can squeeze that other plane, Juliet. Zero, four, Romeo, Romeo, turn right, heading 360, vector channel approach course. 360, four, Romeo, Romeo. Primary nav aid is set. I did not identify it. This sounded right. And I want to identify snow, too. All right, that is uh, Kremlin. I don't know if I'm picking up snow yet. Might be out of range of snow a little bit. But all right, that's a glide slope crossing altitude is 12,900 feet. Minimums. That's a 1,900 feet about the ground. Center, one, two, five, point, seven, two. That is the approach chart reviewed. Um. Airport elevation. Uh, sorry, 125.72 Delta 12. Thanks, Dylan. Bye. Airport elevation, 6,547 feet. TVM 9 or 9, Tango Bravo for lower. November 9, Tango Bravo, descend and maintain 14,000. Cross Kremlin at 14,000. Cleared LDA, runway 25 approach. Hey, 14 to Kremlin, Kremlin at 14, LDA 25. Um, below 10, we'll put the landing lights on, logo lights. I'll just put logo Number lights on now. Zero, Juliet, Sierra, cross Kremlin at 14,000, cleared LDA, runway 25 approach. Cross Kremlin at 14,000, clear for the LDA, runway 25 approach, Premier 3 0 Juliet, Sierra. Juliet, Sierra, that's the guy who's putting in between me and Good evening, Denver, Denver Adrian, this is uh, other Delta 7340, we're uh, with you uh, descending through flight level 340. Delta 7, D340, Denver Center, Squawk 1431. 1431 in the box, Delta 7340. Exec Jet 482, turn left, heading 280. Left turn 280, Exec Jet 482. 280, check. November 23, Echo Fox, short, reduce speed to 220. 220, Echo Fox, short. Over zero Juliet Sierra, reduce speed to two two zero. Two two zero for zero Juliet Sierra. November one zero four Romeo Romeo, turn left heading two seven zero. Or correction two nine or zero. Two nine zero four Romeo Romeo. 
Vectorjet 101, contact tower 119 or 8. 198, Vectorjet 101, thanks for the great service, have a great night. 198 is tower. I have that in the standby. Air Shuttle 5732, released for departure clearance. Void, if not off, by 02300 Zulu. Current time 0200 Zulu. Report airborne this frequency. If not off by 0230 Zulu. Advise Denver Center no later than 0300 Zulu of intentions. Okay, we'll call an airborne air shuttle. Exec Jet 482, proceed direct Kremlin, cross Kremlin at 14000, clear to LDA, runway 25 approach. Alright, uh, direct Kremlin. Kremlin, uh, you said at 1 2 12,000, and we're clear for the LDA 25, Exec Jet 482. Exec Jet 482 at 1 4,000. Uh, correction, that's what I thought. 1 4,000 uh, for Exec Jet 482. He had already cleared us for the LDA, so I'm super confused. Okay, very last 730, checking in with you, coming in for the west, about 62 miles west of uh, Hayden. Alliance 730, Denver Center Radar Contact. Alright, so we're clear for the LDA. I don't know why I heard 12, I knew 14. 482, reduce speed to 250 five knots. Alright, we're slowing at 250, exec jet 482. November 23, Echo Fox, our contact tower 119.8. 19, yeah, good one. When he gave me the vector off, he should have canceled my approach clearance. I'm super duper confused by what was going on there for a second. I think the controller is just one man doing too much. Man, there's there's some clouds here. I don't I don't see the airport. This is uh, updated weather coming from um, what's the the thing I used to generate the weather? I can't remember the name of the uh, program. That's Active Sky. That just came to me. So this is got to be what we're expecting here. Oh, I didn't. Check my altimeter setting. 3026. I think I wrote that down right. That's the plane dead ahead of me. Next, uh, I'm next in line behind Juliet Sierra. That's no, right? No, I need one oh nine two. That was crumbling. Which I'm about to pass. Uh it says ten miles to crumbling. I don't know 
Seven, thirty two, uh, for airport Shuttle 5732 Denver Center, radar contact, one mile south, Durango. Welcome aboard, climb, maintain flight, well, 370. White, Remember 104, Romeo, Romeo, proceed direct Kremlin, cross Kremlin at 1414,000, clear to LDA, runway 25, approach. Okay, copy, clear direct Kremlin, uh, 14,000, clear to the LDA, 25, approach. Four Romeo, Romeo. Denver Center, good evening. Hawker Zero Golf Charlie climbing 8,000 for 1 5,000 out of Eagle. November 1 5 0 Golf Charlie, Denver Center climb, maintain flight level 230. Flight level 230, Hawker Zero Golf Charlie. Denver Zero Golf Charlie, radar contact. Denver Center, good evening. Air Canada, about the Tornium Heavy. It's with you, passing 170, uh, climbing by the SID. Air Canada, 1121, climb, maintain, flight level 330. Roger, climb, maintain, 330, 1121 Heavy. Bravo contact tower, 1019 point 8. I guess he got someone else ahead of me too. Oh yeah, there's three of us lined up. Actually, quite a few lined up. So it's uh, my buddy. He's on short final. I got Echo Foxtrot behind him with the Falcon 50. Denver Center American 291 with the climbing through uh, 17.3, looking for higher. Julius, there's a Premier. Climb, maintain flight level 360. 360 for the final, American. 291. I'm following a TBM. Exec Jet 482, reduce speed to 250 knots. Oh, Exec Jet 482, we are doing 250 knots. Exec Jet 482, reduce speed to 220 knots. We'll slow to 220, Exec Jet 482. November 4, Romeo. Here's that TBM. Center line 730, uh, 23 miles from the top of the center of snow. If uh, it's okay for us to start the uh, descent. Alliance 730, descend via the Cayley to arrival. Denver altimeter 3011. 3011, descend via the Cayley to line 730. We can go down to 12,900 after this peak. November. Niner one Romeo contact KC Center one two five point seven two. Getting a little rain here. All right, twelve five. I'll do it kind of slowly. Let's see. It puts a terrain on here. See what that looks like. Oh, that actually helps a little bit. It's a little bright, but I can see terrain. Actually, slow down a little more. Section 42 contact Eagle Tower 119.8. All right, over to Tower on 19.8 for Exec Jet 42. Thanks a lot. Good night. Eagle 
Tower, 2-1 Delta Alpha, looking to pick up our IFR to Aspen. 2-1 Delta Alpha, roger, on request. Uh, good evening, Eagle Tower, Exec Jet 482 is with you on the LDA, runway 25. Exec Jet 482, Eagle Tower, good evening. Uh, let's see, be number 3, 6 miles in trail, the TBM, runway 25, clear to land, wind 340 at 3. All right, uh, runway 25, we're clear to land, number 3 behind the TBM, Exec Jet 482. All right, uh, marker beacon on. Starter switches are set to continuous. Fuel pump on. Landing lights on. Flaps. Actually, we are going to put 15 out. Speed checks. 15 out. Slowing us down. TDM's five and a half miles ahead of us. We have our landing clearance. We need to uh, put our gear down, but I want to get a little closer. Flaps, uh, autopilot, and all that to go. Turn terrain off, it's too bright. I can actually see Eagle the mountains. Eagle Tower, 2 3, Eagle Flag Track, cleared Alpha 5. Taxi to the ramp. And uh, altimeter to local center. 2 3, Echo Fox, Track, welcome to Eagle, straight ahead Alpha to the FBO. Straight ahead Alpha to the ramp. What is the next altitude drop down? Um, when we cross, we can go down to 10,400. In eight miles. No, not in eight miles, in like two miles. Thousand two hundred. November three four Quebec. Thanks for your patience. Traffic nine hundred mile final runway two five. Line up and wait. Okay, runway two five. Line up and wait. Uh, turn your three four Quebec. All right, so he's going to get one departure out before me. So I'm going to slow down a little more. Delta Alpha, ready to copy. 2-1 Delta Alpha, clear to the uh, Aspen at King County Airport. Beaver 1 departure, Ruby transition, that has filed. Uh, climb by SID, except maintain 14,000. Departure 135.6, squawk 1460. Sierra Juliet, Sierra Juliet, Sierra via Alpha to the ramp. Off to the ramp, Premier Sierra Juliet, Sierra. One Delta Alpha, go ahead with the readback. Two One Delta Alpha cleared Beaver One departure, radar vectors Roubaix, climb and maintain one zero thousand, expect one four thousand. I need the squawk code one more time for Two One Delta Alpha. Quebec on departure flight, runway heading, runway 25, clear for takeoff, wind 3403. Okay, uh, runway heading, uh, runway 25, clear for takeoff, door near 34 Quebec. For 21 Delta Alpha, squawk is 1460, and uh, you're on departure, it's uh, climb via SID, except maintain 14,000. 9,800. Climb by the SID, expect to maintain 14,000, 1460 for the squawk. Delta. Eagle Tower, November 104, Romeo, Romeo, final LDA 25. Phenom 104, Romeo, Romeo, Eagle Tower, good evening, runway 25, clear to land, wind 340 at 3. Uh, start uh, slowing down, or uh, slow to your final there, uh, about 7 miles in trail of a citation. Yeah, we got him in sight. For Romeo, Romeo. For Romeo, Romeo, runway 25, quick to land. 
Check's gear down. Gear in transit. Gears down, three green lights. Speed checks, flaps. R20, no, 30. For another six x ray, might be a couple of minutes there. Uh, I've got three guys on final. No problem, thanks for letting me know. Two dogs slower. Speed checks, full flaps. This TBM is still in the air. Oh, I'm gonna get sent around. He's a, I'm only two miles behind him. But I'm gonna go as slow as practical. Doing a hundred knots. I'm a mile and a half behind him. I just don't want to go around. Go around, fly the published miss, contact departure 135.6. Alright, ExecJet 42, we're going around, we'll contact departure on 35.6. Speed checks, gear out. Well, we don't need. Published miss. Gears up, lights out, flaps are retracted and indicated. Autopods checked and sent, yaw damp is on. Jet 42, we're uh, on the best climbing through 10,000. that TBM was going so darn slow. It was unbelievable. Exact 482, squawk 1442. 1442 for 482. I don't know how that got changed. Southwest to 8501, descent to maintain 9000. 9000, Southwest 8501. I'm going to Jesse.
Now there's nobody there. It's wide open. That's just that slow flying TBM really beat me up. 909 Tango Bravo, thanks a lot. You hurt me tonight. Southwest 8501, turn right, heading 279 leaving my area of space to the southwest. Straight up, service turn right for change your moves. Have a great flight. All right, thanks. Uh, appreciate seeing you next time. Per 279. I feel like it's always me who gets sent around. Cover Center American 291, we're squawking 0655. Do we need to resend the flight plan? Center, uh, Executive Jet 482, any chance we could get an expedited return? Okay, right turn 100 down at 14,000, exec jet 482. 100 down at 4, 14,000. I'm going to reactivate the approach here. Contact 
You know, I was the only one pro proactively trying to slow down. And that controller did nothing, the tower controller did nothing to help me. Didn't tell the TBM to speed up, didn't say to slow down, just completely was oblivious to that situation. Well, I'm really unhappy with that. And the TBM, that's kind of a careless. You know you got jet traffic behind you. Keep your speed up. Uh, I'm really, now I'm getting angrier as I think about what just happened. 12-9. We need to be at 12-9. Slow it down. No, I need to be lower. 10-4. I guess I'm following this guy in. Temper Center, United 1613, I just, got, I just uh, made contact with him. I just haven't waited for about five minutes. United 1613, approved this request to advise back in the helicopter. We'll go, 1613. Temper Center, November 915, Tango Bravo. November 915, Tango Bravo, Temper Center. I can next speed to my simulation for a few minutes here for 915, Tango Bravo. November 915, Tango Bravo, approved as requested. Uh, another similar call sign, but that's not the guy who caused me trouble. The one who caused me trouble is still on the ground at Eagle. 909, Tango Bravo. Delta 1709, descend via the French 3 arrival, Denver altimeter 3011. Send via the French 3 arrival, altimeter 3011. Speed checks. Put 35 out, or 15 out. God, this airplane gets me. Marker beacons on, star switches are continuous, pumps on, landing lights on, altimeter's local setting, flaps as required. Executive 482, contact tower 119.8. Tower on 19.8 for Executive 42, good night. Eagle Tower, Executive 42 is back with you on the LDA runway 25. Executive 482, Eagle Tower, good evening. Uh, start slowing to your final there, uh, Cessna 172, 5-mile final, runway 25, clear to land. Oh my god, that's a 172. Alright, uh, slow to our approach speed behind the Cessna, we're clear to land, runway 25, Executive 42. Delta Romeo, uh, keep your speed up there. Uh, there's a uh, citation that's about uh, five miles behind you. See, this is exactly what he should have done the first time. All right, all the way to the firewall for seven Delta Romeo. Oh. Yeah, this Skyhawk uh, should be about 1.30 till about a two mile final. Uh, you should be well clear of him. All right. Pops are 15. Run him over. Disregard, run him over. Disregard the gear warning. Speed checks, gear down. And then my next lowest is 9,800. Hey, 
Adam 7473, we are clear to land 25. Adam 673, hey, forever runway 25, clear to land. Clear land 25, Adam 673. Whiskey Tango 799, leave him, uh, leaving the Delta to the south. Uh, Squawk and maintain VFR, frequency change approved. We'll see ya. Frequency change approved, Whiskey Tango 799. Have a good night. Thanks for the services. It's done. All the tiles are off. Speed checks, flaps pull, gear down, three green. I guess service to the end. Spoilers deployed. Reversers are out. That was a little firm. 80 knots. And reversers are stowed. Grabs go all the way down. Three knots. What's pushing me so hard off the side? Oh, the engines aren't sync. Check jet 482. Welcome to Eagle. Turn left when able and taxi the FBO via Alpha. Good night. All right, to parking via Alpha. Thanks a lot. Exec jet 482. You have a good night. and strobe, beacons off, pumps off, pitot heat and de-ice are off, start switches are off, flaps are coming up, spoilers are retracted. Finally made it. Only took a couple tries. 
All right, DF to landings, problems retracted, flaps are retracted, lights are off, strobe lights are off, beacons off, pumps off, DICE is off, computer heat's off, star switch is off, APU is not available. Control aircraft and frequency, Eagle Tower now closed, time 0254 Zulu, water to Unicom 12218, good night. I just made it in. Hey, thanks for the service. Good night, see ya. See ya. Good night. Adios. Man, I was so happy coming in with all those other airplanes. Now, I come here, there's almost nobody here. Everyone's logged off, ATC logged off, all because I got burned by a slow airplane. Oh, I've had some bad luck with that lately. I've had a bunch of videos where I'm the one who gets sent around. Make the TBM go around. I'm so mad at that. Oh, just irks my evenings. There's Adrian. He waited for me this entire time. That's been like a half hour of go-arounds. I, I cut it short in the video. I'm not showing all of them because I did it three times. But... Finally, we're here. And I'm less happy than I was when I started, that's for sure. Well, thanks for coming along. I appreciate it for this Train It Up Tuesday. Park right next to my friend Adrian here. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes are set. Fuel cutoff one and two. Again, thanks for coming along on this Train It Up Tuesday. Hope you like and subscribe. And until next time, Happy landings.